Hello, everybody. Hi, Joe. Can you hear me? Yeah? You can't hear me? No? Can everyone else hear me? Can you still not hear me, Joe? You can hear me, Karen? You can hear me? OK. Can you hear me now, Joe? <laughs> I'm not sure. You might need to turn your you might need to turn your volume up. Okay, it's connecting to audio. You okay, I got, now, it, huh? I got it. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so obviously was... you can just start warming your hands up and stuff. Um, we'll obviously wait until twelve, and we'll probably wait until like twelve o five to actually start. Um, okay. And then this obviously isn't a regular class, so it's not going to be like any crazy time limit or anything. It's just however long we kind of need to learn the choreography that I'm going to teach, and then that's it. I'll kind of do a little bit of a warm up. We'll go through spins and we'll do some backhand stuff and just maybe learn some things and then learn some choreography. How are you guys doing? It looks so pretty where you're at, Joe. Okay, let's see. My front lawn. No. <laughs> Very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. And then also, again, because this isn't going to be like a normal, like, quote unquote class, you guys can keep your mics on if you want to ask questions or stuff like that, or if you need help on things, so. so you, want to, you don't have to if you don't want to, I get it. I guess I should post that, I'm starting, huh? Hello, welcome, if you're just joining us. Sorry, I was taking a selfie. Hello, everybody. Yeah, just start warming up your hands. We're gonna start in like five to 10 minutes, so you can just chill for now, obviously. Make sure if you have issues hearing me that you like connect your audio and stuff too, because I know you have to like choose where you want the audio to come from when you got on Zoom. Welcome, Ruby. I love everyone joining us. Just warm up your hands. We'll go through a couple warm ups too. We're not going to go through tosses or anything, so make sure you do that on your own. Um, but we will do a couple hand to hand things like spins, some backhand exercises, stuff like that. Welcome everybody. Ready to learn some rifle work.
Oh yeah, so just start warming up your hands like normal. I'm gonna keep, if you're already in here, you've obviously heard this like 10 times already, but I'm just gonna keep saying it as people are entering. Um, remember, this isn't like a normal class or anything. So you do wanna keep your mic off like as I'm explaining things, but you're totally free to turn your mic on and just ask questions and stuff. Um, again, it's not like a solid class or anything. So we'll do a couple like warm up stuff in the beginning. Just do some spins and some hand-to-hand -hand stuff, and then we'll get learning on that choreography. Make sense? Cool. And then we'll, I don't honestly don't know how long it's going to last, just however long we need to learn, and then that's it. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -da -da -dum. Oh, hello, Eric. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll wait five more minutes before we get started. Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. Cool, yeah, and you guys saw it too, it's just a very quick piece, it's just 216. There's like that one little crazy thing in the middle of it that like goes under the leg, other than that, pretty simple choreography, very performy, very performance based. Um, and then I promise the next time I do something like this, I'll let you know a lot more in advance, but I just wanted to kind of see Cool, okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let's just go ahead and do some warm ups. We're gonna start with that right hand under in the neck, and we're gonna start with that left hand over. I'm gonna be mirroring you. We're gonna start just with that push straight down, and we're gonna do 10 spins, and we're gonna stop on 11. So I'm gonna be going 10 spins, and I would go seven, eight, nine, 10, stop 11. Does that make sense for everyone? Here we go, let's do 10 spins plus a stop. And five, and six, and five, six, seven, press and down, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hit. Cool. Let's go ahead and try that one more time. Same exact thing. Just get your hands warmed up. Five and six and five. Six, seven, press and down. And two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hit. Cool. We're going to go ahead and try it one more time. And I want us to all do it super slowly. So I don't want us to have this like nice consistent speed. I'm going to mess with you guys a little bit. And I want to go super slow. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up. Here we go. Let's do 10 more spins at that slew, super slow speed. So make sure that we are able to squeeze our rifle and control. Whether you're wrapping or pressing, you're able to control that up, down, up, down, up, down every single time. Here we go. And five. And six. And five. Six, seven. Push up, down. Up, two. Up, three. Up, four. Up, five. Up, six. And seven. Eight, nine, ten. Stop, eleven. Cool, awesome. And I know super slow drop spins don't seem very hard or very challenging at all, but you can kind of feel any little mess up, any little thing is gonna make you go off track. So it's a really good way for you at home to kind of check your precision with drop spins and with your students, honestly, too, and just see are they actually pressing or wrapping like you're asking them to, or is that rifle kind of going all over the place? Yeah, so now let's try it on the left side. If you can't do the left, it's totally fine. Just redo the right side. Here we go. We're gonna do that 10 spin, same exact thing. We're gonna do a regular speed right now. Here we go. Five and six and five, six, seven, press and down. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hit eleven. Cool. And remember for the left side, regardless of if you press or you wrap, remember that we do have to hold on just a little bit longer so that the rifle sends over so I can catch it at the tip. If I don't do that and I just leave it, my rifle's gonna land here. 
So you want to make sure that you're holding on just a little bit longer and you're sending it over to the right to grab. Cool. Let's try that one last time at that same speed. Five and six and five, six, seven, press and down. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hit. Cool. And then just make sure everyone checks and make sure we're all muted just so that it doesn't disturb anyone else. Cool. Now let's try it one more time. And now let's try it slowly, yeah? So doing that slow thing on that left side is gonna be even harder, but really control that butt. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Everyone go ahead and try it on the left really quick on your own. My favorite picture we watched together is from the 4th of July when we're doing drop screens and our rifles aren't doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. We love that. Right. Let's go ahead and try it on the left side now. Here we go. Sorry, I was muting people. Okay, here we go. And super slowly on that left side. Five and six and five, six, seven. Push up, down, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, eight, nine, ten, hit 11. Cool, awesome. So again, this is nothing crazy at all, but just a way for you to check yourself. You know what I mean? If you're pressing your thumb, if you're wrapping, if you're doing anything else other than those two things, your rifle is going to football in the air. So make sure you know which one you're doing. Cool. Let's learn one last one before we start learning the choreography. We're going to go ahead and put that right hand under in the neck. Left hand will be over on the tip. And we're going to start with the push. And we're going to go ahead and go push into a left back hand. Push and grab. Cool. From this moment, we're just going to pull out and go up and grab. Back into that right hand. Good. And now from here, let it swing and you're going to go single and out single and out. Good. So it's just starting. It's a very simple little backhand thing. I'm sure a lot of us, if you're on the West Coast, have already done before, but we're going to go backhand, pull, single, grab. And it's just a way to really get that rifle moving from hand to hand, really understanding that swing of the rifle as you go through. Everyone go ahead and try that on your own a couple times. Remember, if you have questions, you can unmute yourself and let me know or if you need help on something. But push, down up, grab up, grab. So notice when I go into the backhand, regardless of if you do straight arm or bent arm, because both ways are obviously acceptable, but regardless of what you do, you want to make sure that you're feeling the swing of that rifle butt as you go into the hip. Down, up, down. And then you want to be grabbing over here. And now you want to make sure that when we're grabbing things, we don't want to be grabbing things directly at vertical, right? We want to be grabbing things at flat so that when I pull down, my rifle can continue into the next thing. But I'll kind of show you guys if I catch it vertical, See how my rifle just kind of stops? So catch it at that flat, and it'll be able to continue into that next thing. So it's obviously you don't want to catch it too low all the way down here or anything, but you do want a little bit of under rotation so the swing leads into the power of the next thing. So let's go ahead and try it all together. It's going to be a four count phrase. We're going to push on eight. We're going to go five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and three. Does that make sense? Here we go. Five and six and five six, seven, press, grab one, and two, grab three. Good. So as you're finding with this, I, when I'm doing this, I really don't think about the height. I think about pure speed. So I'm pushing speed into it. Push and speed, speed, grab. And you want to make sure that you're keeping everything at waist level as you're doing that. Start one more time. Five and six and five, six, seven, press and speed, speed, grab. Cool. Now we do it the other way. So now we push with that right hand and we go down into the left for backhand. Same thing, I don't care if you bend your arm or straighten your arm, whatever your instructor, whoever, whatever your method is you do. And then from here you go down and grab. And then it's always easier to do a single with a swing. So swing, single, grab. Good, so now that side you would be going push, grab, down up, grab. So everyone go ahead and try that. Cool, again, if you need help at all, just let me know, happy to help. Cool. So let's go ahead and try that side now. So the thing that's going to be harder about this side personally is that one, you're going to have to go into the neck, obviously. So you're going to have to have a little more precision because you can't just grab kind of, you know what I mean? Like you can kind of grab anywhere in this area when you're doing a backhand on the side, even though you shouldn't be, you can grab anywhere and it'll still work out. But on this side, you have to grab the neck specifically. If you grab too low or too high, it just won't work out the same. So make sure you're really aiming with precision to grab that neck. And now from here, you have to feel the tip swing. Swing up, down, and then it's not a grab. It's not a hard connection. It has to swing right into the next thing. Good. So remember within Color Guard, we have those two types of connections. We have soft connection 
and we have hard connection. Soft connection is anything that continues motion. Hard connection is anything that stops. Yeah, so you wanna remember that as you're doing things because this can't be a hard connection and a hard connection and hard connection. It has to be soft, soft, it's not gonna happen. hard. It's here. It's Wi-Fi on the other side of the house. It's oh, not gonna wow. connect. Cool, okay, so let's go ahead and just try that left side one time before we start moving on to the choreography. So I'm gonna start here. So remember we push on that count eight, five and six and five, six, seven, push eight and one, grab two and three. Good, let's try it again, same thing, here we go. Five and six and five, six, seven, press and one and two and three. Good, okay, so now we're gonna try it back and forth. So we're gonna do it two times through and we're gonna push on eight we're gonna go five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three. Push, one, and two, and three. Push, one, and two, and three. Push, one, and two, and three. Does that kind of make sense? I know that <laughs> might've been super confusing. Does that kind of make sense to everyone, yeah? You can try it once on your own. I'll give you like 30 seconds, and then we can try it all together. So remember, as soon as you squeeze, you gotta be able to push the opposite way so you can go right back into the next thing. Mm -hmm. Cool, we kind of okay, yeah? We all good? Remember, if you need help at all, let me know. Cool, here we go. Starting with that right hand under, doing four sets of it, and five, and six, and five, six, seven, press, and one, and two, and three. Press, one, and two, and three. Press, one, and two, and three. Press, one, and two, and three. Cool, okay. So this is one that I do with my students. One, obviously you feel the speed of it, you know what I mean? It forces you to really get used to swinging and pushing that rifle around. But second of all, once you grab and slam that rifle, you have to be squeezing and stopping it at flat in order to push back the opposite way. And you'll find if you try to do this with your students or even a lot of the West Coast people that do that backhand exercise where it has to go like back and forth with that squeeze. If you're finding if your students don't stop at that flat, it's gonna get this effect. And then it's really hard to go back into the next stuff. So make sure you're going here, here, squeeze, back, here, here, squeeze, back. Yeah, cool. Everyone go ahead and get some water and then we'll go ahead and start learning some choreography. Okay, we all good? Kind of ish? Yes, awesome, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and start with that right hand under. Right hand under. Obviously it starts with a toss, so just know it does start with a triple. We'll go back to that all the way at the end because it's not really important right now. But we're gonna catch with that right hand under just like this. So now everyone go ahead and just kind of let the strap fall. Like grab the strap and let it fall. So now you do that same thing, and as it's falling, you wanna let it fall and you wanna re-grab. If, you, if anyone did the virtual drum course stuff, it's this thing that Heather does like behind her back. It's that exact same thing. You're just doing it in front of you. Yeah, so now go here. Now you're gonna go ahead and drop into a second plie as you do that. So you're gonna go drop to plie. Yeah, so now from here, you're gonna go ahead and slide the rifle. So do you see how I'm like on this part of it now? So my hand's like taut against that. From here, I'm literally just gonna let it kind of swing to the wall and then face the back. Yeah, so it's gonna feel really awkward from this moment, you're literally gonna have to face your rifle and then let it go around. So that's already that first thing you wanna get used to it, kind of riding, and you see my fingers right here on the strap, it has to ride along that. So you have to let that stay on so it can ride along that finger. Everyone try that on your own. And obviously it'll help me if you have your video on, if you want help, it'll help me to watch you. But if you don't have your video on, then it's totally fine. But just letting you know if you need help. Yes, uh, Dolce, that's good. Just turn all the way to the back. Yes, exactly. So make sure you, a lot of us are doing it correctly, but just make sure you take a right foot step in the second to face the back. Yeah. 
Cool. So really quick from the beginning, I catch. Can we just catch? We go down into that. We, we actually do a left force arch, sorry, not a second plie. So we go down into left force arch. Now from here, I am sliding my rifle as I'm going up. So I'm going slide up and down. Good. So now everyone keep this finger in because it's important to know that you have to release like this. And now go ahead and go ahead and dip your rifle. Dip your rifle. And now you're gonna just be doing a double and grabbing. So double with that right hand and then re-grabbing with that right hand too. So everyone try that on your own. Good. And it's not a crazy, super fast one. It's a little bit on the higher and slower side because it's coming out of that strap. Cool. So make sure again, you have to be releasing it like this. So you get used to releasing it with that finger in to grab. So now after you understand that, then you can put it together and you can go down with the strap. And then from here now you can go around, down, up, into it. So everyone try that on your own. Good. Are we kind of okay with that? Can you show the whole thing from the beginning? Yes. Who asked just now? Me. Madison. Okay, yes. Just yeah. so I know where you I are, just so I can watch. So go ahead and go here. So remember, if, you're, if you need help with this, everyone, go ahead and do this part. So you drop down the strap. Yeah, so once you do it, you want to let it swing. Mm -hmm. And then you want it to swing back up, and you want to re-grab. Yeah, so do it again. Go here. So you want to push it forward and let it re-grab. Yep, so here, there you go. So now you're like this under the strap. So your hand should be on mm -hmm. top when you end. So go ahead and try it again. So go here. So let your rifle fall. Yeah, so now keep twisting the bolt towards yourself. Like twist it towards you. So it goes back towards you. And now your hand has to go under and switch. There you go. Yes. Yeah, so that's how you have to end. So now you do it together. Yeah, exactly. So now from there, you slide your hand. So that like this hand that's on top just, yeah, slides it here. And now you just let it swing and go down behind you. Yeah, Wait, so you, you have to, us? yeah, so you start like this. You have to let your rifle go out to the side and then to the back. So it turn to the right or the left? It goes to the left. You turn to the left, just like this. Yeah, so now don't release it. It goes on the strap. So it stays on the strap as you go up and around. Yeah, so make okay. sure you put your finger inside of it. There you go, yeah. And then you have to go around this side. If you want to work on it, go ahead. And then I'll, at the end of it, if you still need help, I'll help you out with that beginning section. But go to here. Like, just pretend you caught like this. Yeah, because all the next stuff isn't, that isn't as, like, confusing as that finger thing inside of it. Yeah. So go ahead and face away from it for everyone. And we all just caught like this. Yeah, cool. So now from this moment, so everyone face away from the camera. From this moment, you want your tip to drop down just like this to flat, and you're gonna wanna go flourish out and out. So everyone go here again. So this moment, you just take a step this way with your right foot towards the left. You're going out, big lunge, and in. Does that make sense? Now from here, everyone go ahead and go down up and grab. Grab, good, go ahead and try it again. So now do it with a flourish and go down up and grab. Good. Yes, exactly. Cool. So now everyone, I want you to try it one more time. And I really want you to float this because this is where the under the leg stuff starts happening. So you want to make sure that you're going here, you get really floaty and grab like you, your rotation should barely, barely be finishing because your leg is going to have to go over that rifle. Good. And now everyone go back to this moment again. Everyone go back to here. That's it, Eric. Everyone go back to here. Make sure when you catch away from the camera that your tip drops to the left first. So your tip has to drop this way to flourish out to then go down up and grab. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, exactly. Cool. Good. So let's go from the beginning one more time to make sure we have it all before we start getting into the next crazy trick. So we go catch the triple and we're tossing that triple on 15, 16. So we go fifth, six, catch one. Then from that catch on count one, we drop and two into four starch. Now from here, remember we slide and go up at the same time. So we're going three, four, up five, six, grab seven. 
grab seven, good. Now I'm gonna flourish out on count eight. Eight, and now I'm gonna be releasing this on nine, and then I'm gonna re-grab on 11. Yeah, okay, cool. Everyone go ahead and get a quick water, and then we'll move on. And again, if you need any help at all, let me know. Cool. Okay. So just remember, I do see watching you guys a couple of the things is right here. You want to make sure you don't go this way. You have to bring it down and open up to go into that next thing. It's just a fair warning because that next thing won't work unless you do it that way. So everyone go ahead and go to here now. We're here with this um, strap to the left in my right hand. And I'm gonna go down up and grab, right? Cool. So now from here, you wanna feel when you get the butt up. When you're, or sorry, when the tip comes up, you wanna really latch onto that. So go ahead and do that rotation again and find when the tip goes up. Up. Do you see that? So I'm watching for when up, when that tip is up. That's the most important part of this whole entire thing. And now make sure you're grabbing it with your left hand. So again, go down, up, grab. Cool. Okay. So now from here, when you feel that tip go up, that's when you're going to go ahead and take that right leg and it's just going to go around and down. So when I feel that tip go up, that's when I do that. Tip up, grab. And it's going to be under my leg. So everyone go ahead and try that a couple times on your own. I just a fair warning for you. It's going to be extremely hard, obviously, until you really get that pattern of going with that tip up. So everyone go ahead and try it. So you want to feel that down up and you want to feel that right leg going over as soon as you see the tip go up. How are you grabbing it underneath your leg? I am grabbing in the left hand. So I'm doing this and grab. So that's why I'm not actually grabbing it when it's underneath. I'm grabbing it after my leg passes. Do you see that? So like uh, I am, I'm doing this exact same thing. I'm just doing it as my leg is like passing over. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so wait, yeah, so wait for that tip to go up. And as soon as you feel that tip up, do the fan kick. Shit. Yeah, and then, yeah, make sure you go from the right. And that's why I was telling y'all that it's extremely important to do it so slow. Like you see, my rifle's not spinning like this. My rifle is going super slow so that you're able to spot the rotation of the rifle and put your leg in. Yeah. Hmm. A little bit too high. Keep it low. Right here. Yeah, keep it like right in the center of your belly button. Yeah. Good, and I'll try it with the leg. So when you feel that tip go up, go kick. Yeah, it's scary, right? It's like a scary, like, it's scary of like when to know to put your leg in. So that's what I'm saying is like, really, yeah, that's close. Yeah, that I get really it close. Really <laughs> rotate, there it is, that's really it. Really rotate it slower than you think you need. You know what I mean? And then later on, you guys can speed it up however fast you want it, you know what I mean? But right now, learn it at this slow speed so you understand the concept of it. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Hello, Jared, did you just get in? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go from the beginning again, just for the people that just showed up. Yes, and this is a chance for anyone that needs help on that strap stuff again. Sorry, strap stuff again to go over it, yeah? So we start with the triple, uh, tossing on fifth, six, catching on one. Good. From here with that right hand, you just let it go on the strap and re-grab. Yeah, exactly. And then let it like push and come around. Yeah, exactly. So now from there, you're gonna like slide so that your finger is taut up against the strap like this. Yeah, so slide and keep that hand the same way. And then from there, you're gonna let it go around and face the back. Around and face the back. Good, yeah, perfect, cool. So from there, do the same thing you just did where you drop down into that second. But now instead of sliding separately, you wanna combine it. Combine and then into the next thing, good. And then from there, you just do a little double and grab. Good, and then from that moment, you just open up in the flourish. Yeah, perfect. And then we're right here at the moment that you just popped in for. 
And then I think we did this at Phoenix, I feel like, at, at some point in our choreography. So it's that, like, it's that under the leg thing that we did before. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting closer, William. You're getting closer. Yeah, that's it, Ruby. It's just a little bit too fast. Slow it down. This is really not a speed trick at all. The interesting part is that your leg is going over it. So you want it to be slower so we all see it. You know what I mean? A little bit faster, Dolce. So when you catch underneath your leg, you catch it like, um, like tip up? When you catch it underneath your leg, you catch it tip down. It's like it's oh. sweeping, it's sweeping into tip up because I'm about to do another flick. But then, yeah, for me, I catch yeah. it, but then like the momentum keeps it going up. Yes, no, exactly. You want the momentum to keep it going because you're going into another flip. And that goes for everyone. Once you're done, like everyone go ahead and pretend you just caught here. You just caught with that left hand under. Literally the next thing is just a single and grab with oh. that right hand. Yeah, so you are going through it. You're going flourish, you're going down up, down up, grab. Okay, thank you. Yeah, of course. Go ahead and try it really quick, Aiden. Go ahead. Yeah, go from like this, like tip down. Yes, there you go, and now go down up, grab. Yes, exactly. So now just get it a lot slower, slow, slow, grab. Slow, slow, grab, exactly. So now that speed that you're doing it at, now you'll be able to do the leg whenever you try it. So make sure you start with that tip down and do it super slow to get that leg to go over. Yeah. yeah. Cool, okay. So let's go ahead, piece that together now. So pretend I just, we all just caught that double. We're facing away from the camera right now. We just caught in the right hand. And look at where I caught too. I'm catching like with a couple fingers into the bolt. So not fully into the bolt, but just a couple fingers. From this moment, remember my tip has to go down, flourish out. Then from here I go down up, down up, grab. And I'm aiming to grab right in that neck. Does that make sense? Cool. So from here, let's just finish out this little 16. From here I'm catching on nine, 11, 13. I'm catching on 14. And I'm just doing a big turn on 15 and down on 16. Good. So from that under the leg stuff, it just continues. Down up, down up, down around, and in. And that's just a pencil turn on that left leg. So make sure you're trying not to do Sinead turn. Obviously, if you're just doing what the choreography is, it's just that left foot pencil turn. Right leg is pointed as I turn. Cool. Quick water, and then we'll learn the last little 16. And then the next step is a lot easier. It's not trick-based. It's performance-based. So it'll be easier to learn the next stuff. Dun, 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 dun. How are you guys doing? How hot is it where you guys are right now? You guys can unmute yourselves too. You don't have to stay muted. I mean, you can if you want to, but you don't have to. It's, it's 100 so outside. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Well, thank you for being at this class. <laughs> it, it's, it's so hot. Jules, wait. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's been pretty hot here, but I can't say that it's been that crazy hot. It's been like reaching the hundreds, but it's getting better though. Yeah, like today it's so nice. I mean, I'm also in the shade, but in South <laughs> Florida, it's what? Currently in South Florida, it's like 106 degrees. I'm yeah, so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, it's okay. There's the shade. The <laughs> Not a good time. Thank you for being. That's that's so hot. God. Okay. Now, well, this choreography, like, if, if we decided to take one of your classes, like, which level would this be? Would this be hard or medium? This would be on the harder side. Yeah. This would be like okay, intermediate, I was like, advanced. I'm really doubt myself. I try, like, I don't know. It's it it is really hard to say, like, oh, this is a beginner, intermediate, advanced class, because we have to admit, like, beginner is like people first doing color guard you know what I mean but then we do we say like beginner class is gonna have like singles and doubles and like harder stuff so yeah I don't know <laughs> I try to put elements of like everything in all my classes 
just so if a beginner kid happens into my advanced class by accident, they still get something out of it. But oh my God. yeah, this this would be like oh my god, this would be like intermediate slash advanced. Yep. Okay, we all good? We all yeah. get some water? Yeah? yeah, awesome. So, what did we just do? Oh, we just did this thing. Uh, okay. So, we just went around, right? When I do this, you also kind of want to lead slightly with the tip. It's not like a full T grip like this, but my tip is definitely the thing that's leading. And now I'm going to go ahead and have the bolt up. I'm going to pass through a second plie. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go ahead and just push this up and re grab in that neck. Good. From here, I'm gonna let this swipe down, and now I'm gonna go over, and when I go over my head, I'm gonna slide the hand. So y'all see how my hand is like sliding as it goes over? So the thing about this, and everyone go ahead and try that move on your own, because if you're not used to doing something where your hand has to slide while it's still moving, it's gonna be really hard for you. But everyone go, go ahead and like go to something like this. So the thing that's gonna make this happen is my rifle going upward. So everyone just do this. So you feel when I am pulling my rifle upwards, my rifle is not pulling me back down, right? Because I'm starting and it's pulling upwards. So as my rifle doesn't have any weight pushing against my hand, that's when you have to slide along the rifle. So as your rifle is pushing up in front of you, feel that slide along it. And you should be able to like slide all the way to the tip if you wanted to, but right now we're just gonna slide to like here. Yeah, so now you try it going from this moment, you try pushing up and grabbing. And now from here, you're doing that big little circle thing over and slide. Cool. And now, you know, I like my crazy body. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go down. I'm going to let my left arm and my left leg kind of just like wrap around my body. So it's not a passe at all. So don't be color guardy. It's more like sassy down here. I'm in that low plie and you kind of see my leg and my left arm is just also crossed. So I'm doing that and I'm hitting that pose after that slide. So I'm going here like this, good. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and unwind the rifle and I'm gonna invert, just like this. And now when I do that inversion, so everyone go back to this moment, when I do that inversion, I'm also just gonna grab with my left hand. Good, cool. And now last little thing, because I love to teach in those layers, from here, I'm just gonna go step and then do the same exact cross on the other side. So I'm gonna go step and cross. Okay, so now this type of movement is very uncomfortable for a lot of people. So make sure you try it on your own really quick by going around, feel over, hit, over, hit. So really get used to being able to push and balancing on one leg. That's where like the like skill and those moves is coming from, yeah. And I also don't keep my leg too low. I know it's so uncomfortable. I know, I know, I know. But I don't keep my leg too low. I'm going up at like almost not flat by any means, but it's definitely not like in tondu range. I'm bringing my feet a little bit off the floor and then slamming down and then up, up, down. Yeah, just try that on your own a couple times. Get used to that. Let's check the chat. Yes, body, yadi, yadi, yes. <laughs> okay, so let's try it one more time. Let's all go to this moment. We just grab with the tip down and I wanna see, this is gonna be one and two three and four. Here we go. Five and six, five, six, seven, eight, and one and two, three and four. Cool, okay. From this moment now, we use our left hand to push the opposite way. So use your left hand to push up and you re-grab it similar to how we just did that big turnaround. And now from this moment, you're gonna do the exact same thing we just did where you go down and you push. Good, but now instead of going down and pushing and grabbing with the right hand, you're gonna go down, push, left hand is gonna grab. So again, I'm like this, remember? I caught like that with the tip up. I go down, leave with the bolt, push the tip upwards. Everyone go to this moment so we can get used to this trick if you've never done it. So this trick is not here, like I know a lot of us want to do. Yes, it pushes the opposite way. So the butt is gonna push upwards and that's the rotation that you're gonna be catching as it falls down and I'll do it facing this way. So you see, I'm not doing this. I'm going pull, grab. Everyone try that on your own. That's close, that's really close to Maddie, who, whichever one is Maddie in like the pink tie-dye. Um, just go here and push up and then pull towards yourself. 
Yeah, so make sure you have like thumb up like this, yeah. So now from this moment, push your tip outward, like think of doing that. Like you're not just pushing up, you're also pushing out. Okay, now when you push out, as soon as you go out, you wanna feel pull back just a little bit, pull back. There you go, yeah, closer. And then you wanna aim to get that hand under so that you're not having to search for the rifle, it lands in your hand. Yeah, that was closer, other Maddie. <laughs> I don't know which one's Maddie, so you're both Maddie right now, sorry. <laughs> Good, Joe. Just pull it a little bit closer. Yeah, pull it a little bit closer in. This when you one, pull you do it, need a little more rotation. What's up, William? When you pull it, does it like land bolt up or strap up? Bolt down, strap up. Perfect. Thank yeah. you. Of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that part together so we understand where everything kind of lines up. So I caught this on 16. And you, I'm sure you saw like in the choreography, obviously, that I posted that this goes super fast right here. This is slow and sustained, but the second that your hand touches this, you have to be driving that energy really, really quickly around. That's what makes it look so sassy is the speed of it. It's not just what I'm doing, it's how fast I'm doing it. So I'm here, let's go ahead and try it. Five and six and five, six, seven, eight, and one, hit two, three, hit four, five and six. And now from here, I'm gonna carve down on seven, shoot, eight, grab, knot. Okay, so now let's just learn the last little bit. Even if you don't have the tricks, I'll help you out right now after this. So you wanna try to catch with that bolt upwards. So we're facing away from the camera. You're gonna pull the left arm down. Left arm just pulls down. And then I'm gonna switch both arms. And I'm gonna go down and grab. And I'm like this on the rifle. I just grab like this with my right hand too. And then I go into a dip on the uncomfortable side of the rifle. Yes, exactly. And now from there, I'm gonna do a quad and a half and just standard, you can honestly obviously do whatever body you want under it. I just do standard second, but just quad and a half to grab. And then you're just catching flat. Cool, a little tip for people who have never tossed from the butt before. Everyone go ahead and put your hand on your rifle. Go ahead and put your hand all the way out here. And now everyone just do a little single. Awesome, we see how slow that rifle rotates, right? Now put your hand as close as you possibly can to the bolt. Awesome, and I'll try a single from there. See how much faster it rotates, yeah? So you wanna have a nice balance, unless your instructor tells you where to put your hand personally. I'm not telling you where to put your hand, so whatever's comfortable for you, but unless your choreographer tells you like, oh, place your hand here, you gotta do what feels right. Yeah, so some tosses are gonna be able to go from here because they're super fast and buzzy, and then some you are gonna want from the edge. So make sure you understand that difference as you're releasing. Cool, and that's the end. I just catch in a standard second. So we'll go ahead and piece it back all together. And then we'll be trying it a couple times and everything like normal. Remember, if you need any help about something or with something, let me know. You can unmute yourself and just ask me like, oh, work on this part or do this part. Uh, William, after you do this thing, you go here and here also, I forgot to mention this to you guys too. If you, if it's too fast putting your legs all the way up right here, just do coupe. Just go here, coupe, here, coupe. It works literally the exact same. But anyways, go ahead and go here, William. You're here. Yeah. So make sure you don't have to take a step with your right foot. Just twist your left foot on top. And now go ahead and step with your left foot and then go to your right foot to coupe. Yes. Now from there, pop it up and grab with the right hand under. That, there you go. Now from there you can continue into that thing to go. Yes, and then down. Good, okay, so go go here again. There it is, yeah, exactly, that was it. A little bit too much. Direct it directly at your hand, don't do it too high. There it is, yeah, perfect, cool. And now, okay, a couple of things for everyone to kind of help with the smoothness of the choreography and stuff. And you guys can get water as I'm talking about all this stuff if you want, you don't have to though. Um, so obviously the first thing, if I segmented stuff, like if I pushed my rifle straight out and then did the next thing, it's gonna look really choppy, right? It's gonna look like a choppier move. So you wanna make sure when you're having moments like that that you are trying to blend things together. 
And I don't just like let my left hand go. I pull my left hand up to my right as I go onto that finger to go into that release. And then same thing here when I, um, when I catch this, you have to make sure you're catching a little bit lower so that it goes smooth right into the next thing. Then same thing here, it's the thing I talked about when we did the backhands. And that's why I taught that exercise is because you wanna make sure that you are passing through flat and you're doing the soft connection thing that we talked about. Your rifle has to be continuing right here, soft connections to make all that stuff happen. If you do a hard connection, that's when my rifle starts stopping. Does that make sense? And then you wanna make sure too, when you grab this up here before I do my turn, I have to grab it over here because my turn is going this way. So look how awkward it looks if I catch this over here. You see how much more awkward that looks? So you wanna make sure that you're sending your rifle all the way over and then you're going all the way around with that. Then same thing here, I go through. All this stuff you guys are doing great. So here, but then this moment right now, I go here. When I do this pop, I can't pop this moment and go to here because then it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look so awkward. So same thing, you have to throw it far. So I have this big contrast going all the way around and up into the next thing I do. Does that make sense? So the placement of where you catch things in relation to your body will always matter about how smooth your choreography is. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, so make sure you guys all know that as you're learning this choreography and stuff, you can't just catch something over here because you want to. Sometimes you gotta catch something over here because it's gonna make it look better than catching something like over here doesn't make sense, yeah. So right before the catch behind the back, do you break mm -hmm. your wrist? Um, okay, that's what I was wondering. I was just wondering if it was going in the plane or breaking your wrist. Thank you. Um, right here? Yeah. Yeah, it stays like in the it. toaster. Oh, okay. oh, wait, after I catch it. Oh, yes, 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 right here. I break yeah, my wrist yeah. forward, yep, and then I stay in the oh, toaster. Okay. And then, yeah, wrist is broken, and then I'm pushing upwards okay. to make that rotation happen. There you go, and now upwards. Yes, yes exactly, exactly. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Cool. And then another thing, too, for everyone, when I catch here, my rifle's obviously the motion is coming back towards me. Hold on, let me let someone in. So the motion is obviously coming back towards me, right? So it's not going to make sense for me to move my left foot. Watch this, like the difference this makes. If I go here and then left foot, see how awkward that looks? So obviously just do the opposite. So just pull that right foot and now it looks so much smoother. Here, right foot and down. So remember, little things like that also matter to how the choreography feels. You might be doing it super choppy and it's just the difference of doing your left leg instead of your right leg. So make sure you're checking all those little details and stuff. Cool, are we kind of all good with it to where we can do some runs or do we have certain parts that we need a big help with? You can unmute yourself if you want. My phone Ooh, okay. overheated, so I'm inside now. Oh, gotcha. So, okay, well, welcome I'm back. I'm just going to vibe and watch. <laughs> just, I'm just going to vibe and watch. Yeah. What's up, Madison? Yeah, same here. I might have been I might have been here the whole time, but I, I'm a beginner. I didn't catch much of that. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, it's no problem. And that's why, like, these, like, I do want to start doing more classes like this and stuff just for you guys to have a chance to, like, learn stuff obviously without having to pay, but then there's a chance too, if you need help on stuff that you could just like ask me, you know what I mean? Cause you don't have to just keep it specific to like whatever we're doing right here. If you need help on things, I'll help you. Yeah. yeah. But all, all, like I told you, this was like a test one. That's why I just like posted it like two hours before it was happening. I'll start doing it like the day before just so that people can prepare better if they want to learn. Yeah. Wait, can you go over the last 16 counts real quick? Like what moves on what? Yes. So I catch this on the ending of that first 16. I'm going step one, hit two, three, and four, five, six. And then I'm going around, is that the next thing already? Oh yeah, then I go down seven, shoot eight, grab nine. And I'm going around 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm dipping and I'm releasing on 14, 15, and I'm catching on that count 16. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Are we all good to just try it? Yeah? Cool, okay. Remember, if you, if you can't do it, that's no big deal. Just get through what you can do. Here we go. So we're gonna start with that triple on 15. 
and I'll give you, I'll give you third and four and third, four up, fifth, six, grab one and two. And also remember, like I told you at the beginning, this impacts and goes right away. One and two. Here we go. And third and four, third dip, four up, fifth, six, one and two, three, four up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and third, four, fifth, up, six, and one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, grab nine, ten, eleven, twelve, dip, third up, four, fifth, six, grab. Okay. So now that we've tried it once, everyone go ahead and let me know what you need to work on. Yeah, now that we've tried to up the speed, up the tempo, let me know what you need help with. I just can't go that fast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's very that fast. Was so quick. It's a very fast piece. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why, too, I'll save this recording that we did and I'll post it on YouTube. That way, if any of you guys want to come back to it and the people that didn't come to this class, they'll have it too to just kind of watch. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Cool, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and try with music a couple of times. I know it's super fast, so just do what you can. If there's a certain part you like and you can't do the rest, then do that part. Here we go. Um, first, let's check. Okay, can you guys hear me still? It sounds windy though, right? I'm sure. Okay, You're good. Can you hear this? There's a loud dumpster truck in the background. Can you guys hear that? Yeah, cool. Remember, tossing on 15. It's going to be super fast. Kind of it? I hit every tree possible, but I hope you guys got through it kind of. Cool, okay. We're gonna try it one more time. Let's go ahead and try it one more time and again. You felt how fast it was, yeah. So let's try it again. Last time. Okay, cool. So, okay, so that's obviously. All right, let me reconnect myself. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yes, okay, perfect. So obviously you felt how fast it was, you know what I mean? So this is your chance, obviously, not your chance, but this is your time, obviously, to take this stuff and just work on it. If it's too fast to do, then do it at the speed you can and slowly work it up. You know what I mean? It's obviously good to have stuff in everything you learn to have goals to strive for. So if you learn this stuff and you can only do it at half speed, beautiful. You know all the things, just speed it up and get better. If you know how to do all these things, how can you maximize performance? You know what I mean? How can you be more consistent with the tricks? How can you straighten your legs and point your feet on the fan kick trick? You know what I mean? So make sure if you didn't learn anything, so sorry if you learned something, amazing, but make sure you try to find things to learn at everything you're doing. Does that make sense? Yes? Yeah. Okay. So. I'm kind of like done teaching, obviously. Um, if you have any questions, you want to stick around and ask me questions about like the work or things like that, you can. But other than that, thank you guys so much for coming. Hope you have thank a you good so rest much. of your day. Of course. Thank you.
Of course, Thank you guys you have a good so rest much. of your day. So much fun. Thank you, Robert. Of have an awesome day. So much. Of course, Bye. you guys have a good day too. Bye. 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 I'll so, see you on a lesson. <laughs> Bye. See you on a lesson. <laughs> Robert, could you do that last trick? Um, what would you bring it around? Because I'm still struggling to get it around correctly. Yes. Hold on. Siri's yelling at me. One second. Siri's so like, he, here's some things you can ask me. It's like, I don't want to ask you anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What part? It's just the. Bye, William. Have a good day. I'll tell Katie you said hi. <laughs> In the toaster. Oh, wait, what about it? I don't know how to do it fast. Because once it gets to it, I just like. Oh, you want to? So you want to make sure that you're not just catching dead stopping. This is another moment where it looks like it's a hard connection or it's a, like a soft connection hidden in a hard connection. So let it swing when you grab it. So try going like this and then swinging when it touches your hand. Yeah, do it one more time. Cool, and now once you feel that swing, just pull your right foot in. So go up, down, right foot, and down. Down, right foot. Yeah, so that's the issue, is you're not used to that right foot pulling in. When that right yeah. foot pull, pulls in, your body also has to be turning. So it's like that thing where I tell you of like pulling your shoulder to the front and trying to pull that right ear to the right shoulder. That's what you wanna feel. Right here. Yeah. So push up and swing up. There you go, exactly, yeah, cool. And then really live in that like kind of first releve for as long as possible and keep those feet together for as long as possible. If you have the feet out like this, oh my God, I just dropped my rifle, but if you have the feet out like this trying to turn, it's gonna be so much harder. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, cool. There you go, yeah, exactly it. Well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, bye, have a good day. Bum, 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 but, um, who's still here? Hello. <laughs> Hi, that hey, was Hi. That was really cute. Yeah. That was very cute. Okay, I'll FaceTime you, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye.